It is common in corporate environments that outgoing connections are monitored and incoming connections are blocked. When we want to create a reverse shell or send our data outside the network, we are limited to what a corporate network allows us to send out. Often, SSH and VPNs are blocked. To bypass these limitations, we can use Chisel. Chisel is a tool that allows us to tunnel traffic over TCP, HTTP, WebSockets and SSH. While not intended to bypass security measures, it's commonly used to avoid firewalls and security by tunneling the traffic through HTTP packets. These packets are then sent over the network to another instance of Chisel. This other instance of Chisel can then unpack the data that is sent and transmit the data further if required. It even supports multiple users using the same Chisel server. In our following example scenario, we've set up a system in our cyber range that is behind a firewall. The server is running an RDP server that comes installed with GNOME. The firewall does not allow incoming connections, but only outgoing connections. We are going to use Chisel to connect to this RDP server. Before we can use Chisel, the first thing we need to do is install it. We can find the application on GitHub at the following address. We need to install Chisel on our Kali system and the system that is behind the firewall. Once we've installed Chisel on both our attacking system and our victim system, we can start setting up the server. We do this on our Kali machine since we aren't able to connect to the victim machine because of the firewall. To start Chisel on our Kali machine, we use the Chisel command followed by the word server. We also want to add the port flag to the command. The port flag allows us to set the port that we want to use. Let's set this port to 8080. Since we want to connect from the server to the client of Chisel, we also need to ensure that the connection goes in the right direction. For this we can use the reverse flag. This makes Chisel open up ports on the server instead of opening them up on the client side. We can now run the server on our Kali machine. Once we started, we're ready to receive connections on the Kali machine and can move on to the victim machine. On the machine inside the internal network, we've also installed Chisel. We are going to connect to the Chisel server on our Kali machine. To do this, we need to use the client flag on the machine. This creates a client that can connect to the Chisel server we have set up. We then supply an IP address and port. These are colon separated. The last thing we need to do is add the IP and port that we want to tunnel. We can do this with the R flag followed by colon and IP and port. In our case, we want to tunnel the RDP server that is running inside the internal network. So we set the IP to the local host and the port to 3389. When we look at our Kali machine, we see there is an incoming connection and it has opened a local RDP port. When we connect to the local host with an RDP application, we can see that our Kali machine now has access to the machine behind the firewall. The tunnel that Chisel has set up is an encrypted connection and cannot be intercepted. We are able to use other security features like matching keys, username and passwords, or certificates. We have shown the tunneling with an RDP server over TCP, but if we want to tunnel our entire connection, we can use the SOX proxy feature of Chisel. To do this, we replace the IP with the word SOX, so the line becomes R colon SOX. Now that we have a SOX proxy running, we can use proxy chain to tunnel other applications through the SOX proxy. To show this, we will use proxy chains to tunnel Nmap through the proxy so we can scan the internal network. As you can see, 
Chisel is a very versatile tool for tunneling connections when clients don't allow for direct connections or when we are testing from behind restrictive firewalls. If you learned something, please press the like button, subscribe and leave a comment. Hack ethically and thank you for watching.